What's up, my boy? George Perez right here. George Perez Stories, episode 156. Yo, this podcast is brought to you by GB Extracts. That's right, guys. If you're looking for that premier butter, sauce, and wax, cartridges, pre-rolls, they're not messing around. This podcast is also brought to you by BZZT Collective. If you're looking for that green that's greener than the soccer fields in the World Cup, make sure you get with that BZZT. This podcast is also brought to you by MyBookie.com. That's right, guys. If you're sick of going to your friend's house and telling him, hey, I want to put money on the game, and they pay you a month later, MyBookie.com is where to go. Uh, with that being said, side dick, it's my birthday, fool. Happy birthday, dog, 156, the Rosie Review episode official, <laughs> dog. I wish, hey, I got the tapes going on sale online for nine ninety nine. after what happened right here at GPS once the cameras went off, dog. It was it was crazy, homie. Yeah. It was uh, crazy. Irvin's titties were out. Rosie's titties were out. Xavier had her underwear on. Your, hey, was side tit Eddie out? My side tit was out, dog. It's a new <laughs> thing, baby. It's a new thing. That's what's up, my boy. X to the G, dog. You're going to have to actually tell a story. What's up? Chilling. You ready? I'm a changed man. You, I can tell. <laughs> I can tell. Yeah, I lived your guys' story for once. All right. Uh. Oh, shit. Well, about fucking time. Uh, right? he, didn't, he didn't have to buy her dope yeah. or nothing, eh? I feel will, but my pockets are full. Yeah, right? You yeah. didn't pay her nothing, right? Nah, I didn't pay for shit. Damn. Hey, you're going to have to write that off in your taxes when you have sex with the, with the stripper or a hooker and you don't pay them. It's a tax write-off. Shit. Charity? Yeah. Speaking of charity. <laughs> The true lies on its own. He's going to be the new liar, liar part two. I don't even know why we have this food back half the time. <laughs> yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> tres platos. Ah, in the motherfucking house. Everybody <laughs> ready to take over, motherfucking. I'm saying three plates in the house. Hi, I was gone for two weeks because I, I might have had that Rona. You, know hey, you think you had the Rona? Like, nah, like, put, like, like you got to be serious, fool. I'll fuck you, were, you up. Yeah, like, well, Okay, okay, I'm going to tell the truth. I think <laughs> I, I might have had that shit. Because I didn't have no boogers and I was coughing in and I had a fever. Instead of Corona, you had Cold Ridge Crest. No, I had the yeah. Modelo. No, but I was fucked up for a motherfucking week. You know what I'm saying? I didn't want to get nobody sick. I'm still coughing it up, but I'm holding it in right now. Well, that's what's up. Uh, you know what I found out? That when like a short person gets the coronavirus, it's called a Coronita virus. <laughs> <laughs> So what's been going on, fool? You at the house quarantine? I'm stuck at the motherfucking pad just doing push-ups in the morning. As soon as I wake up, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I hit them with that quick 100, you know what I'm saying, real quick. Feet up on the cabinet, legs <laughs> down, and then I, from there, it's I hit high. the elliptical for 15 minutes. I don't know if you Tommy. guys can tell, but in these couple of days. Tommy. Can you hold it? <laughs> All right. Come on. Dog. All right. Let's I'm fucking right. Do it straight. Tommy, no more living in fantasy land. I say, <laughs> thinking the cat doesn't get Tweety Bird Charlie. Hey, you got the wrong man. No, but I, for real, fool. Hold on. Hold on. No, hold on. Hold on. Like, hey. Oh, shit. I know where this is going. <laughs> Eddie <laughs> is like, you know what, dog? I can do the quotes. And I was like, I know. But it's yes, like, you, can't do you, you remember in the movie with <laughs> Nick Cannon? What's that shit called? When he was in the band, Drumline? Drumline, dog. Eddie wants to drum off, hey, dog. The drum hey, off, dog. Hey, what is, quote off. P1 hey, what, versus hey, what P2. Are they, what do they say? It, it's, a, it's, a, it's the Indian, not the arrow. <laughs> it's the Indian, not the arrow. Oh, yeah. said, I be dog. hitting them with the motherfucking, <laughs> who are you fighting? Yeah. <laughs> fighting yourselves. Tres puntos. Tres puntos. Let me get that one again, dog. Let me get it on replay. Who are you fighting, <laughs> Chewy? Who are you fighting? <laughs> Just fighting yourselves. Tres puntos. <laughs> Tres puntos are going to be big time. <laughs> <laughs> Where are going, dog? Sorry, tia. <laughs> Remember when he hit the fence? Hold on, hold on. Eddie, I got Eddie. some. Oh, oh, wait up, wait up. Eddie. Round two, wait up. Let Eddie hit that shit. Eddie don't know, dog. Ready, dog? You got more of the expressions down. I'll give you that, bro. Come on, Eddie. Hey, but you know, hey, but you know what, dog? Yeah. No one's sharing a bed, but what do you say? No one's sharing my bed, but a woman. Chewie's your cousin. Uh, Mikro's your cousin. 
<laughs> You're not the rooster here. Hey, make sure to keep the blankets over your head, Gabacho. So your fluorescent skin doesn't keep me up all night. You know, uh, we, Eddie brought the Xbox One, and uh, we were watching Blood In, Blood Out. I got the DVD, in. dog. Yeah, and uh, you know what I think we should do? I think we should play it on the big screen and us talk about like what we think is going on at that time. Hell yeah. Because you know what trips me out about that movie is the intro where Miklo fucking hits Tres Puto's car. Like, first of all, if there's somebody in my barrio, dog, in my hood, plaquing. Yeah. I'm not going to I'm not gonna be like, so this fools. Fool. Yeah, hey, dog, we're going to fucking strap up and unload or we're slashing tire brake. Something bad yeah, is happening. Yeah, motherfuckers are getting hopped on. Side dick. What, it, what happened when he was like, you can never sneak up with Louis Feather Watchdog watching us? <laughs> <laughs> They're such a pain sniffers. Ain't about shit. <laughs> hey, I got my money on, on Gallo Negro. Not with, not with Chewy's Feather Watchdog's on duty. <laughs> Miko? What's up? When you come out, what, what do you say? When you come, when you come out of He's fucking like, whatever. Mira, Miklo? He's all, Miklo. <laughs> How you doing? He's all, how's your dad? He's all, He's all right. <laughs> He's all mad up. Get your ass out of here, Miklo. All fucking hurt. Miklo no. was 17, dog. I, so, what yeah, he, he was 17, but like. His mom didn't know his age, though. Yeah, fuck. That's some scandal shit. Imagine and your say, mom. See, uh, you know, what's this, June 16? Uh, uh, imagine, imagine having that as a mom. Look, dog. First of all, you're fucking. You're trying to be a homie. And you are. You're yeah. half. Yeah. Your dad just kicked you out. Your fucking mom is getting ready to go get boned. Dug out. She fucking drops you off at your tia's. And the tia doesn't want him there. No. I'm tired of taking care of you. <laughs> I can't live your life. I'd go crazy if I was you. <laughs> Bitch, you shouldn't have me clothing. Hey, like, you ever know any chicks like that, Eddie? Like, like I ain't going to lie. I knew a chick like that that fucking was, like, scandalous. And I stopped talking to her shit because she'd be, like, a fool. So, like. Yo, homie, I'm like 20, 21, and I'm staying in Santana, and this chick's like, hey, fool, I finally got a babysitter. Like, we're going to kick it. And I was like, and in my head, I was like, hey, you could bring your son and shit. Like, I got games. Like, I'm not, like, I'll wait for this fool to go to sleep. Because I know she would drop him off with, like, she would go on fucking Craigslist and just gonna <laughs> find anybody, dog. Find anybody, dog. And then, uh, so she came over and shit. She came happy with her own drugs and shit. I'm like, what's up? She goes, oh, no, I fucking, I went to my fucking grandma's house and I just fucking told her, hey, I owe somebody money, so I got to go do this. Like, lied and shit. Dropped the kids off like that, eh? To kick it with you. And so, she, she, so she didn't know her kid's name, you said? No, this, this, not, this chick knew her kid's name. But it was like that, that bad? Cause it wasn't that it wasn't that bad, but it was just like, damn, homie, like. This chick was about to make another Miklo because Miklo wanted acceptance. That fool wanted someone to love him, dog. He was like Eddie. <laughs> all my fucking <laughs> life. Yeah. yeah, all this life he's been kept out because the motherfucker was either white or you're the white kid or you're the motherfucking, you're trying to be your mom's Cholito whore, kid. Yeah. yeah. His, mom, his mom didn't even want his ass given to the aunt. How many kids you think the mom had? Like, like, like let's break down the movie. You how many he kids? Had brothers? Yeah, no, no, no. How many kids you think the mom had that she was just like? She was like, I need that check. Yeah. <laughs> you know the judge is gonna stop my check if he knows you're here. <laughs> Fuck that fool's been there an hour, dog. Crazy. That's fucked up. Hey, look, hey, right now, sorry for all the homies that this happened to. Everyone's all feeling bad for Miko right now. You, you, like, hey, you did have it rough. Hey. You brought that up. What's what? the most? Chicks you've known that has like a bunch of kids. We're like, homegirl, you Homie, should stop. I've been you like, brought that up. Like, I just gotta ask. Okay. Like, you're a strip club. I mean, three, four. Like, no, that's what I've seen. Club. Yeah, you're not it's, even a stripper. Yeah, yeah. Well, then where? A regular chick, dog. To me, it's only too much when like they're asking other people for all the shit. I mean, anybody can have as many kids as they want, but if like you're gonna be a whore and on drugs and you and the kids get taken away, that's when it's like, hey, bitch. Like, honestly, they should sew your pussy up. Or, like, <laughs> what it, about when Hanas get their fucking kids second away and then they have more kids? Yeah, they do like, that. Like, what the fuck, bitch? No, but listen, you can even keep these other ones. They do that because they don't got to pay child support on the next kid. So, whenever you have kids that are taken away from you, 
you got to pay, dog. It's, yeah. it's, it's the government's giving them money or like the child support. So they'll have a kid and they'll go on child support and you don't got to pay child support when you're on welfare. Yeah, women that pay child support too, dog. Wild, dog. Yeah. Like I just trip out like when they have like, like when kids, and I'm like, you? oh, she has four kids, and then and she Tommy. already had three that hey, they took Tommy, away. When Bigfoot stop. left you, dog, dig Harry and Hendersons. <laughs> Full hey, right now, Eddie, hit be, him. being locked up right now. Hit him, Eddie. Eddie ain't gonna hit me with nothing but a motherfucking <laughs> oh, uh, I'm saying, oh. a sweater on. Dog, hey, your fucking yeah. beard looks like dick hairs, dog. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, your fucking body looks like armpit hair all over. I'd rather be an armpit than a dick hair. You look like you got a sweater on right now. <laughs> <laughs> that's weak. That's weak. We've that's, heard that's that, weak, dog. dog. Heard that. Weak, dog. It gives me a laugh, but we've heard that. We've it's weak, heard that. dog. For me. Be creative, dog. So, yo, homie, last week was, was pretty wild, dog. Uh, we had Rosie on, and I'm not going to lie, dog. She... Rosie doesn't disappoint. Rosie comes, she shares a story, and she fuck, She stays for the after party, dog. She man. disappoints her hey, father. Well, she has some other, <laughs> well sure. she's talking about aliens again or some Probably shit? the worst in aliens. Oh, she yeah. boned an eagle alien. Again? <laughs> ah! <laughs> How was it, Eddie? Because I went to sleep. She was an animal, dog. Tell me the story, dog. Like, she, was, she was an like, animal. Did she take her? Did she carry him in the room? <laughs> I don't know how the fuck, ah, I don't know how the fuck this bitch came up on 80 bucks, but she did somehow. <laughs> But like she, we, I tried to be nice to her all night. You know, I didn't want to kill the vibe and get her all mad. No, and, she even said it and question her. Like, her he's being nice. question her. Her. I thought you were gonna bone too. No, hell, no, I was just being cool because we needed some material on the podcast. But um, <laughs> we were just chilling out of nowhere. She gets up and then she does like what the food does to a chick at a party. She is able to sit down in the chair, all curled up next to Will, <laughs> and then she walks by, grabs him by the hand, and picks him up. So what's up? I'm. It Casper. takes him to the room. It's me, Casper. <laughs> Can I finish my fucking story, dog? I know, I know, I know. Fuck. So we're bumping music out here, dog. So we're over here just racking them up, doing lines. I don't give a fuck. We're wilding out. And we forget that, I mean, it's so quiet. Like, I don't even hear no one getting dug out or nothing. So out of nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> y'all fools are playing loud ass music. Come on. Y'all, you swear Shut like you guys are the door, the door open, dog, and bone her if you can hear. But. Out of nowhere, fool, she walks out butt ass naked, dog. And this fool, man. Like, like butt naked? Butt ass naked, like, dog. No underwear, like, hold nothing. On, hold on, like in colors okay. when they raid the pad and they bring the hand and naked out. And she's bothered, uh, if it was bothered her to get yeah. shot. Like that. But what was crazy was the first, she came out two times. The first time she came, like in her underwear, and she had one of Xavier's old dirty ass jackets on <laughs> that, that didn't zip up. So she came out, she did a line, and then she threw her titties in Irvin's face real quick. Like a what kind of like like a jet ski or like, a motorboat? Like this dog, uh, <laughs> like right up in his face. Bro. So Irvin, he just has a big old smile, like whatever. She goes back to the room, and at that time, they go back in there, whatever they're kicking it. Xavier, hey, Xavier some without props, the dog. car away. Magic sauce, magic sauce, dog. I give him props because he didn't give a fuck. He put down more coke after that. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, See what I mean? That's what I'm talking about. So he racks up more lines, and maybe like. Ten minutes go by. Xavier must have nutted fast or something. <laughs> comes Fuck you. Butt naked again, but this time with no jacket, nothing. Just, just butt naked, butt naked. dirty feet, nothing like. Dirty describe feet. her, dog. Describe her, dog. She's about six feet two. <laughs> got, like, yeah, got nut on her back from Xavier still probably. Uh. Hair all messy. Fucking breath smells like Xavier's asshole. So she re- leans over me and then does. She ate Xavier out. She does two, three more <laughs> lines and then throws her titties in my face. And then uh, Will wasn't here, but the homie Memo was here, and he's tripping out. Oh yeah, Memo! Oh, for God, he's tripping out because he's not used to this. And he's like, dog. What's up? Who's next? Hey, I'm like, nah, we don't do that, dog. Like, yeah. she's just gonna do this fool because he needs it bad. But it was crazy, dog. I left like at six, and she was still here. Nah, nah. Let me tell you my fucking story. Okay, fuck you, yeah, Eddie. Yeah, here we go. Oh, <laughs> fuck you, homie. Hey, I got witnesses. I let you here. talk. I let you talk. Urban I'm gonna interrupt here. your ass because you. Tom fat. is gonna interrupt you, dog. But we're here chilling, dog. She started talking conspiracies. I ain't gonna lie. I was like, holy shit, what's up? Oh my day gets That's what got you. Oh, dude, she's talking aliens. She's talking. Hey, she did do good conspiracies, dude, dude. She knows her thing. I'm not gonna lie. I told George, I was like, holy shit, this thing new. So then we're hanging out, <laughs> and like, well, and like Sadik said, I'm here chilling. I'm drinking a beer. We're all hanging out. We're all partying, and she just like, like he said, he just, she just comes by me. And she's like, first though. She's nah, like, hold on, let me tell you what she did. She walked by him, and then she put tin foil on his dick. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, hey, he was like, no, no. tin foil, Jimmy. Hat, <laughs> <come on."> stop, <laughs> stop. Go ahead, bro. So 
I'm here chilling, like Sadiq says. She comes up and she's like, No, well, first she lets you drive her car again. Oh, yeah. After, if you've heard the podcast did before. She, did she do anything to you when you guys went to the liquor store? Nah, she just. She's she, trying to finger him. She's like, I'm not drunk yet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she was just trying to get alcohol, but you're right. She. If you've heard the podcast before, last time she came, I crashed that shit. Yeah, so, you crashed your car, dog. Yeah. For real? Dumbass fool. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Can't even drive. Who else fucking crashed? Didn't Eddie fucking crash? Yeah, Eddie's crashed up, outside dog. Shire, George. Who the fuck is going to drive? No, Eddie up. crashed out. He didn't crash. Yeah, <laughs> no, your finish, fucking finish. teeth crashed, fool. <laughs> so Dude. then, shut up, Tommy. So then uh, we're chilling here. She talks about conspiracies, blah, blah, blah. We're all partying. And she, like, side dick said, she grabs me by the hand. And she's like, come here. And I fuck, it was like, all right. And she then, gave it, dog. Yeah, so I live here, so she pulls me in the room. He's like, okay. <laughs> it was and like, he, a, and, and he finally, he has a better bed in there now, too. Yeah, oh, like, shit, he got some motherfucking box strings now? Yeah, so she's like, what's up? And then, like, we show up, and obviously, like, shit goes down. And then, like, he's right. What goes down? I know, what do you mean, fuck, it goes down? What do you want so to play by play? I'll yeah. sell you the video if you want it, the motherfucker. People want to fucking know you Then they can pay listen. for it. Then they can pay for it. I got a video. So I with her. Hey, but you know what's weird is like I didn't hear uh, uh. nothing. I just heard. Uh. <laughs> 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 I heard him screaming. He's on the hey. <laughs> <laughs> No. Nah. Hey, so the way he comes out with scratches on her back. <laughs> Oh, he came out with scratches. No, I know. Hey, I'll take my shirt off right now. I got a, I got a scratch still right now. Damn. <laughs> Some fucking yeah, baby. I'll take my shirt off right now. I'll show you a she, scratch right she here. He fucking jangled you? No, yeah, yeah. Rick James well, was like in a, there. First Hold time on. I felt like a black guy. Yeah, she's fucking. I got a couple scratches right here. About a black guy? First time I, I felt like a black guy. I woke fuck? up. I was all scratched up. You were like jangled out? Yeah, jangled out, Damn, dog. dog. They're going to kill you. Uh, but whatever, <laughs> though. Yeah. <laughs> Nah, like, but my bad, LRG. <laughs> <laughs> LRG. <laughs> nah, but for real though, but like Sade said, yeah, sh- this bitch was like, hey, let me go out there right now. And I'm Mr. Nice Guy. Please be the square. Hold on, she Shut asked up. you to go out there naked? Yeah, he's nah, like, he's, he's all big. She's, she's like, she's like, hey, I need another beer and I'm going to take a bump. And I'm, what the fuck am I to say no to her? So I was like, yeah. all right, for sure. I was like, do you want a sweater? Do you want a jacket? <laughs> No, yeah, this was holding his nipples. Like, what do you mean, like a fag? I'm just saying what happened. Yeah, man. and then she's like, "Nah, it's cool. They've all seen me naked, anyways." And I just sat there, like, "All right, then." Like, "All right, then." Like, "Well, I'm mad about it." So hey, then I just hey, the Jordan hey, meme hey. with the tears. <laughs> hey. You know what Rosie did to him? She goes, "You know what? You're not my first <laughs> or, or my last." <laughs> Hey, what's funny though, the first time she came out with a jacket, and the second time she came out naked, the, the second time Xavier came out with a jacket. Boom, that she had on the first <laughs> he had her jacket on? <laughs> hey, nah, hey, he's hey, fucking hey, naked hey, shit hey, out. Hey, Don't believe this hey, motherfucker. Hey, you guys heard this shit. Hey, you know what would have been dope if the song came on? Oh, uh, the switch? The switch. <laughs> <laughs> they did the switch for a person, dog. <laughs> when this fool finally got pussy, dog, I was like the fool from uh, the dad from Blood and Blood Out. The chorus made a man out of him. Hey, but did like he have a glow to him, Eddie? Like, what was different about him, man? Eh? He was like, he came out like, yeah, dog. <laughs> like he had that look on his face, dog. He had that. He did his eyebrows. <laughs> hey, what 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 face did Rosie have? Rosie had like the who's next face. <laughs> oh, 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 dog. Time is getting busy. You can't play up the rooster around here. <laughs> Oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. still has her T-shirt. Nah, we gave her a George Press T-shirt. She yeah. walked out with that she shit. She walked Come out on. with that. You walk out of here with that shit. Come hey, on. Uh, so the next day, she wanted what, uh, uh, what, 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 what happens in the morning, dog? Like, like, Tell us what happens in the morning. Oh, fuck, dog. Like, did you turn to the side and you were like, hey, man, why is Dirk Nowinski behind me? Yeah. <laughs> so I find fall asleep around 6 o'clock. I was still hearing these motherfuckers outside. They've been here. Did she fall asleep before you or you fall asleep before her? I don't know. You let her come out here with them? Nah. Yeah, we're nah. cuddling. <laughs> no, 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 nah. We're cuddling because we let her nah. come out. Hey, you cuddle. Hold on. We got to hear. Go nah. ahead. Yeah. So, nah. So, like I said. <laughs> so, like I said, um, we're out here. It's like 6 in the morning. I still hear them. I'm like, fuck. I'm going to go to sleep. I go. I pass out. Wake up around like 10, 30, 11. Just that's my usual wake up time because George goes to work. So, I was like, hey, what's up? And I woke up, I turned over, she looking at me like, you know, like, 
just waiting for me to wake up like that grudge like what's up girl she was like can i get some more dick please <laughs> <laughs> so then i'm just like what the fuck and she's like what's up and i'm like nothing i was like what are you gonna do I'm like, go back to sleep she's like, let's go get a michi i'm like girl brush your teeth like let's chill for a little bit she's gonna brush your teeth with the michi lava i don't know but eventually i told her i was like now nah, i'm gonna go back to sleep i crash out and next thing you know i hear a car starting up it's the homie Evans. Nah. This fool took her to fucking get a fucking Michi. <laughs> and then she came back here. Did she kick it for a little she bit? She kicked it for a little bit. We talked for a little bit, but uh, she drank that Michi and she just dipped out. Just yeah. like that. You hold the hands? Mm. And nah. she fucking broke my toilet. She oh, like, shit. Shiki after <laughs> <laughs> she goes, I'm pregnant. <clears throat> nah, that shit was crazy, though. I feel, I feel like you guys, for once, I was like, holy shit. This is Never feel like me, dog. Mm. What was the difference? The difference with me? Okay, Player. Look. Okay, check it out, dog. Ten years a game. The big difference with me is uh, you would have heard her. You guys would have at the door <laughs> like, hey, who George. Who for being uncomfortable for you? The yeah. Noise. Like, you would have yeah. heard her tell you guys, leave so he can do dirtier things to me. Hey, but you guys swear like the door wasn't closed and so there what? wasn't a fucking loud ass music bumping. You guys were just sitting outside my door ha- waiting for Homie, me. Homie, look it. All these fools had their ears on that wall. <laughs> just so <laughs> you know. And there were fingers under the door. Dog, yeah. This swear like we had a surround sound. We were playing fucking music yeah. from our phone. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> nah, <laughs> that's asleep. bullshit. Nah. I didn't hear George nothing. Would not let us play the speaker loud as fuck at two in the morning, dog. Yeah. No, it was nah. three or four. Yeah, we were playing off the phone, dog. I don't the know. phone was more bullshit. bass than your yeah. game. <laughs> but back to the difference between me and you, dogs. I would have tore that pussy up. Like, re- the aliens would have came out of that shit, dog. Fucking. She's got an alien coming out of her. I know. I know. She had one coming in her, her, too. Yeah, exactly. So her kid's going to be <laughs> illegal, too. And, really? like, she wouldn't have stayed, homie. It would have been, like, I would have told her, hey, uh, you gotta go. I got to take the cats for a walk. <laughs> like. No, nah, I don't kick nobody out. I just be like, hey, check it out. So um, He would have texted me like, say you need my help yeah. right now. No, no, fool. Please help me. I have the best shit ever, dog. So me and Eddie pitched in on a street sweeper. And when a girl spends a night, Eddie will drive the street sweeper. Hey, go on your car. You got to go. Yeah. Wake up. Yeah. Wake up. Hey, hey. Go over there, get, move your car. The only fucking car right there. It's right behind nah, your car. See, but it's different next because, like, you really don't bone strippers. And, like, strippers really don't spend the night. She just had nowhere to go. Yeah. That's the that, only I mean, spend the night. yeah. Strippers. Well, you, I learned a lesson. What was it? I learned the difference between a fucking bad bitch. Don't fall in love with a stripper. And a dirty bitch. Yeah. I'll be honest. At one point, I was like, well, I had just bought a fucking whole fucking three pack of condoms. And eventually, I was like, in the morning, I like I used all three of them. So in the morning, I have no more, and I was like, "Yo, that's it." And she's like, "Don't trip. I got some in my car." Damn! If a chick has that shit I was in like, car. I was like, "Fuck!" I was like, "All right." You but was she have like she have like a hundred in her bag? Or Dog, what? it was w- way too many for her to have. Yeah. <laughs> I opened this white bag. I know she didn't even pay for these. These were those. Oh, these were those cheap. <laughs> <laughs> these were those. I'm serious. But. <laughs> yeah. This no, is, but yeah, I opened this bag in the glove compartment. And it's just it's a lot. Hey, and like name brand or nah, like, like it was <laughs> lifesaver. No, nah, it wasn't even lifesavers. Dog, it was, who the fuck knows what they were? Vote but for just, yeah, she was like, vote for Bernie, so I don't burn. <laughs> <sighs> so uh, you said Evans ended up with her, huh? Huh? Evans, Evans ended up just giving. Uh, he went he's and bought smooth, her Michi, nah, but he's smooth. He's, he's, he's smooth. And like I said, he's smooth. He's the smoothest fool I've seen. He's I'll be honest. Telemark is smooth. I've been here. He literally had just came out of jail. Uh, I don't know what was going on. I had just no, moved in. No, he didn't in. just get out of jail. He's already been out. He moved in, and uh, I had well, I had cable for free for eight months, remember? Wi-Fi, cable, the yeah. whole works, everything. I didn't pay a bill or shit, dog. How you get that? Because, like. I ended my contract and they just left it on. Oh, lucky. Got, like the fool that controlled this cable, like, didn't give a fuck. Yeah. So one day I woke up and I remember waking up going, what the fuck? Because your phone will tell you if you have Wi Fi or not. And I was like, what the fuck? And I came outside and I seen that fucking arrows were only three of them were blinking, eh? It was my Vida Loca on my fucking Wi Fi box. Three dots on it, that's fuck? it. 
So I told Evans, and he was like, oh, hell no. He has to have the internet. So go ahead, X. Oh, uh, dude, so I had just moved in here, so I didn't I didn't know this for at all, kind of, you know? So I'm chilling, and there's no Wi-Fi, there's no cable. So then I, all of a sudden, Evans is like, let me, I got this. Let, let me handle this shit. I'm like, all right. And I'm like, kind of paying attention, but not really, kind of high, smoking. And next thing you know, I hear this full, I don't know if it was Comcast. Like I said, I wasn't paying attention. Comcast, DirecTV. <coughs> but all of a sudden, he sits there, and he starts calling. Let and, me jump in again, and, dog. And, all right. You and fast then, forward. So look, dog. For you to get cable in the same address, there can't be two services. So he called in, and he's like, hey, how do I say I didn't pay my bill? And somebody else moves in. How do I get to allow cable? And the lady told him, oh, you have to have that person who has the account deactivated. So the school has me call in. And I'm like, hey, check it out. Like, I lost my job. I can't pay this shit. Like, I need to deactivate my account. So, boom, they deactivated it, dog. And then Evans calls in. Boys his way in. Dude, he calls in. And like I said, I was just listening. Next thing you know, I hear someone say, "Hey, um, I've been locked up for a while. I just, I just really need this shit. I just really need this." <laughs> and then he's like, "I haven't jacked off in like a week or two. I need this Wi-Fi connected right now." Yeah. And I'm like, "What the fuck?" And I didn't think it was gonna <laughs> come through. Yeah. dude, he's arguing. He's literally but telling he's this doing lady, it smooth. smooth. He's like, George, yeah. George knows that voice. He's, he's like, like, "I can't do it." Hi. Uh, <laughs> a real problem. Right he's now. like, he's like, "Hi, Terry. Oh, Terry, I could tell you're." <laughs> A great employee of Time Warner. By the way, you just responded to me. Let me tell you who I am. I'm Evan Sauli. I am a valid customer. I just moved addresses. Eight-year customer. Yeah, eight-year customer. You've got to throw how long he's been in there. Eight-year <laughs> customer. And I would like to know how you could activate my Wi-Fi because I have kids here that I don't want to talk to. So <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker has a whole story. knows what the fuck is going Dog. on. Dog. And then, like, so the lady looked it up. And then he was like, so I don't have a box or anything. Like, what do I do? Is there any plans? He's like, I really don't make no money. I, re I put this in my budget. Time Warner, you guys are a part of my life. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I haven't bought a new car because I really want to be with you guys. <laughs> no, this fool fucking goes, picks up a fucking Wi-Fi box, all that shit. Hey, homie, we're activated. And you don't understand, like... <laughs> And I didn't know the lady's a, phone number. Yeah, I don't know about peak hours. I don't know about none of that shit. I don't know about terabytes, gigabytes. And this fool came back, and what did he do? The testing? Top what? not shit, dude. Yeah. Like, literally, it's the best in town. And, like, all he said is, like, I need the top shit. I got way too many people in this house. Like, I need... I don't know what he did. Like, I just said, I was listening. And I'm, like, super, like, holy shit. This fool's just handling it. And this voice, when you look at him... He's big, but that same voice George does is how yeah. this fool sounds just so nice. He's professional. He know, yeah, and that thing like, hey, I'm a customer for eight years. You guys love me. I'm. You guys are those little words that people don't use. Yeah, they love and he's that. mad. He's letting you know that he really needs this fix, <laughs> but he's not yelling because you know how yeah. most people yell. Mexicans start what yelling like, yeah. "What the fuck?" And I'm that's what, that's what people tell you. Fuck out of here. Don't tell you that because I'm too you that. No, but this guy, that voice, I was sitting there. I was like, this fool's gonna get it. And they want to buy fool, some shit off him. This fool got it. And then, and then got he it. got all the accounts, everything. Like, hey, dog, my cable's cheapest, but the most max. Hey, side dick, how many girls? Like, I remember you losing cable because you always have your cable in different chicks' names. I remember when I, I the, the last girlfriend I broke up with, I was like, I stalled for like a year, fool, because I didn't <laughs> lose my cable. So I'll keep it extra cool. And then one day I was like, you know what, man, I'm sick of this. But get the fuck out of my camera, dog. I was like, I'm sick of this bitch sometimes. So you know what? Let me call the cable company for shits and giggles and see what's up. And they gave me cable in my name. And she no knew way. it. Like, she knew it. We're like, damn, the end is near. <laughs> like, it's almost done. Because I don't take out my cable. Like, I don't need you no more. But I remember. Um, remember thought, when you were using your neighbor's cable? Like, the I was Wi Fi. I was giving them 20 bucks a month <laughs> for Wi Fi, dog. It's your dog. It is crazy. Hey, but um, one time I, I lived in uh, Anaheim. And there was my, my upstairs neighbor that I knew. He used to fucking smoke heroin. And one day I'm right there. I think I sold him some butt or something. He's like, plug me in. <laughs> I'm up there and there's this fool in a fucking Time Warner uniform getting heroin out with him there. No on. way. And he's like, hey, dog, you give me 150 bucks. I'll give you cable, internet, all that. One time fee. That's it. 
I'm like, are you serious, dog? Let's get on this shit right now. I give him the bread, hooks up everything. He goes, look, if they come disconnected, just call me. I'll hook it back up. Don't trip, dog. Because the fucking Sick. fool that sold H <laughs> lived yeah. right above me. He goes, you'll see me here. Yeah, you were just connected to his line probably. No, not even. He gave me my own line. Wow. Goes, so say if somebody moves out and moves in like next to me and they come and install cable and they see like, hey, this fucking apartment is not supposed to have Yeah, cable. okay, I know what you cut mean. cut it off. He goes, if they cut it off, just call me. And I'll come down and hook it up. Like, that's how much this fool loves heroin. Hey, you know how crazy <laughs> Eddie is? You know... You know when they come and they cut your lights off and they just put the the, the lock on the box? He uncut that shit. He's like, almost did one Gets time, a grinder dog. out. Almost did one time. I was like, because I seen him do it. I'm like, I don't need to call this food. <laughs> I went up you there and I did, did it and I, like, I didn't have the tools to do it. So I had to call him out. Did you guys have the black box? I used back to have the, day? Did you have that black box? Okay, I remember look, my back dad in, doing back that Back in shit. the day, I had the black box. I had the fucking white box, and then we then we had that one card that you would put in in the, the card. TV. Yeah, but actually, I still have that card. Like, I'm gonna grab it for you guys, so you know. But a uh, scrambler? No, nah, not really a scrambler. Like the original black box was when I was young, and my uncles had it. That was the best yeah. black box yeah, no. because that was the one they like. Your tío would fucking have that shit hidden like in a mantel. In the garage, in a fucking box with duct tape on it, and it would never be plugged in unless it was a pay per view fucking fight. Yeah. Julio Cesar Chavez. Chavez. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, really, I literally remember, really remember that. watching that shit. Cesar Chavez fight or yeah. fucking yeah. Maromero Pies. If you have it plugged in all the time, you're fucking drunk deals jerking off to the free porn. Yeah. Dog. Remember? <laughs> did you did you ever have any crazy cable well, story? When we were uh, when, when we were, were a little kid, when I was little, we used to have the black box. <laughs> And on the black box, you can see everything. And then my dad would be like, hey, don't be going past this channel. Because that's where the pornos were. And he'd be like, no, don't go up because it, it doesn't get these channels. And then fucking we'd be like, all right, cool. And then later on when I fucking was like, let me snoop, see if the, we do get these channels. And it was nothing but the motherfucking Payboy and uh, motherfucking Cinemax the other Maniac, HBO fucking sex talk fucking show by yourself or how many of your nasty ass rich kids no friends, hey trip out but when we were kid, when we, when I was little <laughs> my homies would come to my house and then we would watch fucking uh, Cachondeo fucking movies and I'd be like alright I'm gonna fucking dip out for like fucking 30 minutes and then we would leave and then so you could watch the fucking movie uh-huh. cause I didn't wanna sit, be right next to you watching a fucking Movie, you know, and I'll be like, "All right, you watch it for twenty minutes. I'm gonna come back in, and I'll watch it for you twenty fools minutes." Are jacking each other, but off, hey, maniac ass shit. You guys are jacking lizards off. Hey, so I remember <laughs> back in the day, I used to fucking be just flipping through the channels. And remember when it was all fucking weird, like me, 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 me. But yeah, hey, yeah. sometimes if he would sit there and watch it, it would fucking okay, turn we're on. Done. Choke. Oh, That's right. a joke. How long was so that? I fucking watched. I watched Demolition Man and Son in Law like eighteen, twenty times though, because yeah. the black box. Hey, everybody, sports have come to a screeching halt with basketball benched and pitchers off the mound. But our friends, that's right, guys, our friends and my bookie aren't going to let that down. They're not going to let you down either. Stay sane and stay entertained with the access to your favorite games like blackjack, roulette, slots, war, and more. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter whether you're out on the front lines or quarantined at home. The fun doesn't have to come to an end with my bookie. We got video poker. Not your thing, but still need a fix? They got you covered with a host of casino dealers online. That's right. They have professional dealers at their tables live on site 24-7. Your favorite squad sideline because of the pandemic? Don't even sweat it, ball-headed. My bookie was partnered with some of the leading e-sports brands to bring you wager on virtual action straight from the court in nba 2k20 plus you can always do your part to make your bankroll great again by taking advantage of shifting odds on political bets look you can bet on the political race you can bet on slots you can bet on stuff that's just great you can bet on how many times three plates is going to interrupt you can trust the industry leaders in times like this. They're reliable, upright, and best of all, they pay fast when you win. That's right, guys. It's no, hey, I'll hit you up tomorrow. They pay fast. Visit mybookie.ag and use promo code GPS 
for a 150% bonus on your first casino deposit. That's right, guys. Use promo code GPS. You get a 150% bonus on your first casino deposit. Cash bonus on your first deposit, and you can claim those extra funds all the way up to $750. Once again, use promo code GPS to activate the offer. That's promo code GPS. You spin, you win, you get paid. Dog, that was like a long commercial for me that I I, I kind of liked. That was one take, dog. Let me give me a nice round of applause for that one right hey, there. One it. take one break. Take, Damn. One take, one take dog. <coughs> it was cool, man. Like, uh, we've had mybookie.com before, and, you know, Urban and they didn't Will. bet on us. Urban and Will are going to sign up right now. Yeah, Let's yeah. Gambler. Hey, everybody, right now, check it out. Sign up. Mybookie.com. Use promo code. Use promo code GPS. Hey, man. Hey. Me and Andy, we're not at the strip clubs no more. I'm a it's, fucking degenerate gambler dude, you now. You fuckers bro. ain't making no money. You put a hundred bucks, they'll give you a hundred more. They're doubling your money. What do you mean? Literally, that's what they're doing. You put a hundred bucks, they'll double your money, hundred percent, fifty more. I say, who so make you no money? exactly, I'm paying, I'm paying my rent still. They're doubling money. your money. So <laughs> if you're gonna put a hundred bucks to gamble on basketball or two K or whatever there and is to get, bet right now, you can even bet on the race right now. Like you can bet if Bernie's gonna lose, or can you bet on that? Yeah, you can bet on that. You can, dude. They, these fools do all types of bets. Anything you like, you can handle it, and they'll double your money. So. GPS Eddie knows promo code betting GPS. because his favorite player Jordan Jordan bet on everything on bet on himself dog yeah no but like I heard bet on everything dog. yeah I heard he would be like hey I bet you I'll I'll stay longer after practicing you and I'll show up earlier than you I'll bet you this shot like right there to the trash like man. that like five G failure you gotta think Who about it failure? dog like I've been well not even me a lot of people we've been betting since we were kids like hey dog I bet you I'm gonna hit that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Back to there. Imagine you can bet on shit like that. Hey, do you think Tommy paid ever? Tommy looks like he paid forever. <laughs> Hell no! Nah, I used to like you bet, paid. I used to just be dog, like, "Hey, yeah. look, I bet you." And I'm saying right now, whatever. And then how much what, you want to bet? If if I won, I'd be like, "Hey, give me, give me, get that money." But if I lost, I'd be like. We didn't shake on it. Oh, uh, dude, you can't eat. Dude, you that's just right, I was guys. a snake Look, ass kid. I was you gotta a snake be ass sick kid. Of fools. But you, that was when I was be, little. That's right, guys. You, you got to be sick of fools like Tommy. Go to mybookie.com. Enter the promo code GPS. Look, check it out. If you sign up and show us the code, me and Andy will send nudes of us with high knots, I'll, not dudes. I'll send my side to it. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, homie, has that been a big thing right now? Sight, hey, sight it's going today, bang, dog. Dope. It's going big. And the thing with me is, like, I embrace it. Yeah, hey, homie, you should take a I picture. embrace it. No, of, like, all my your sh- dick to the side and your tit to the side. I've been working on it. All my shirts, I'm cutting a hole right here. <laughs> so you see my sight <laughs> Hey, when I was little, my aunt used to make us T-shirts. <laughs> and then she would cut the bottom of the, our shirts, were, she would cut them in triangles. And we would wear that shit. And I thought it was cool, dog. You know what I'm saying? Hey, but you know now what? when I see pictures, I'm like, what dog, the you look fuck? like the nasty voice from the WWF. Fool, I you was look like good the nasty at, voice. Hey, I was good at wrestling too. You look like I it. grew up in Ridgecrest, fool. Like all you could do was do whatever the fuck out there. So we were hey, set up fuck the table. Yeah, we were set up the table. Fuck Ridgecrest. Cut his hey, mic dog. Off. Turn his mic down, dog. Fool, hey, hold up, hold up, hold up. You know, speaking of cut shirts, it was. I, I played football in 1985 to 1990, Pop Warner. Remember we used to cut the shirts and to here? Hey, dog, <laughs> everybody would cut the shirts so to, like, to the belly button. And it wasn't because it, it wasn't because uh, we want to show our stomach either. Yeah, I don't want to Because when you, when you wear those shoulder pads, the motherfuckers are sweaty, dog. Yeah. So you cut the shirts right here to just the shoulder You used to pads. have that big-ass fucking guard in the back with, with the oh, fucking no. toll oh, paper roll. I tell you what it was. It was called a neck roll. neck roll, dog. Yeah, the neck roll with the toll paper roll. I didn't like the neck roll, fool, because I was more like an elusive. Like, the neck roll was for fools that were just like middle linebackers trying to floss and shit. Yeah, fool seen that motherfucking movie with the fools laying in the middle of the street and wanted to wear that shit. It don't do nothing you but fucking take more dog? time. You remind fool, me of- I was so good. <laughs> when <laughs> when so. I was little, no, I was so good, good at dog. football, fool, that the coaches would <laughs> give me a ride to the games, dog, because my parents... 
You know what I'm saying? They were like, we're not going over did there. You guys hide, how did we're you, not going to Rim of the how World. How did you guys have a league if there was nobody close to you? No, nah, there was a gang of fools. We had Little League football, football pads and shit. That's where I, I was fucking sick. <laughs> where I'm telling you, like, hey, I wouldn't have a ride of the game. So my dad's like, I'm not going to take you to fucking game and fucking... Sabardino. Maybe you're so the coach. Like, the so coach will be I'm like, "Hey, no." You. The coach will be like, "Hey, you're fucking awesome." Three plates. You're, you're one of the greatest. Yeah. For I already lift it weights. <laughs> my fucking oh my lord! I lift oh it weights. God. Hey, one time I fucking had to fucking weigh in in my fucking underwear and shit. And the only reason they let me play. Was because the yeah, fucking the food that was we- the food that was weighing us had the same the bag. Yeah. The food that was weighing us had the same last name as me. What's your and last my- name? Uh, hey, <laughs> come on, give him a man right here. Come on, Sammy man. Sosa, Big Sosa, Tommy Sosa. So the fool's name was Sosa too, and then that fool he was like, "Hey, hey, you guys might be family." And that fool let me play, even though I was like fucking 10, 15 pounds overweight. <laughs> I was like in the fucking sixth grade team, but eighth grade weight. Yeah. Hey, you know, I always thought those weigh ins were like the worst shit ever because, hey, Eddie, like you would have to go, they look at your picture, they check your birth certificate, and then, like, I was always underweight. You know what I mean? But then there was those kids that were like the coaches. Okay, the coaches had their kids on the team too, and their kids for some reason were usually real skinny. And I remember I had this one coach. He used to make his son drink fucking three gallons of milk before the game. Like, milk? wait right there, dog. And then that fool would go take a shit, throw up, piss, whatever. What up? Uh, was he big or was little? No, to make way, he was little, but he was bomb. What up? So as a paisa, I only played soccer, dog. Yeah. There's only age restriction. There's weight restrictions. So yeah. if you're. Yeah, so, fool. So, if so, you're a certain uh, weight. So, like, so it I. Goes by yeah. Age. Watch it, watch it. I never played football, okay, so that's my thing. You. Yeah. So it goes from. Ours was uh, it goes from junior all American, all American, to midget, to junior midget. They still call it midget. Yeah, <laughs> it's mi- junior midget. It's something else too, dog. I might forget, but like, so say you're an Eddie, you're a big ass kid, and hey, I was skinny and, when I was, and you're nine. Yeah, this was barely got but big. But you're weighing what thirteen and fourteen year olds weigh. You got to go with them in your weight. Cause we, but but that's just. Um, uh, fucking Pop Warner and all American football, it's age. There's no weight. Yeah. Yeah. Like in Texas and all that shit. And, I mean, not, but like there's all American and then there's Pop you Warner. You think it's safer to do age, weight? Like, of course, dog. Yeah. You can't big, hey, dog, imagine if you played and you had Tommy <laughs> and Eddie about to tackle your ass. Yeah. They're my same age, though. No, they're not. They're, not. they're heavier. Fool, I, when I was a little kid, a fucking. I was playing. I was in sixth grade, and I was on the team with the eighth grader just because I was a big ass kid. Somebody told me you played uh, guard and in tackle, uh, tight you, end. No, let me tell you, like you hell, used, no, you didn't play some, tight end. No, no, no I didn't. Hold on, fool. Left Somebody guard. told me you played guard and in tackle. You used to guard the end of the water bottle table and <laughs> tackle everybody that was playing. Fool, I used to just be that fool in the, in the side eating all the oranges. Hey, dog, I'll play you right now, and I bet you can't tackle. You're never. Hey, dog, dog, I was sick as. Fuck when I was a kid. Well, you didn't play high school. You want me to bring a trophy? You didn't play high school. Look, in high school, I went, high school? I went and I paid all hell week and I did all that practicing. And then in the fucking beginning of the year when the shit was cracking, I was like, you know what? This ain't for me. A I'm saying not too much of a motherfucking man. What number were you? 69. Uh, hey, for real. And I have the jersey. You played quarterback or running back. That's yeah, no, I didn't play awesome quarterback. Way. I was... Uh, a uh, left tackle left and center, <laughs> <laughs> but I was good, dog. Low key, those fool. Positions. Everyone was like, "You should have kept playing, dog, because oh, you were good." To show up to play those positions. Fool, the coaches would <laughs> give me a ride to the games, dog. Well, you know what? We're gonna give you a ride home, eh? Yeah, dog. <laughs> Uber's outside. White Camry, Shamar. Bum 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 b
I'm back like a straight hood rat. I came to your pad and I came to Mac. It's the homie in the front taking bitches to the back. Where you at? Swinging like a baseball bat. I don't take roids. I'm not a fuck boy, but I like to fuck Joy. She was a big hoe. Yo, I thought out If Tommy interrupt me I'm gonna walk out But I'm sick of it when I was little I'm gonna sock out Yo, Tommy quit telling lies All you do is tell lies Matter of fact, when you say you're gonna get me high You don't bring no jar You just brought the chronic album I'm like, yo, George We should just fucking beat the shit out of him <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know I don't rap, dog. <laughs> Eddie always heading on me because I got the beast and I got the free steez and I got the bad ass weed. Go ahead and hate on me, homie. Is GPS stories? Go ahead and hate on me. You can't see me, side dick Eddie. Go ahead. Hey, on me. Yo, Tommy. Bah, bah, I ain't hating on bah, you. That's far. Bah, I'm just hating on you. Dun, that you don't bring more dun, than three jars. Dun, and dun, you said <laughs> that your door got dun, fired of yard. Yo, dun, Tommy, you said you dun, had two pogs car in your yard. Dun, dun, but yo. no. Bum, bum, bum. You know that I got, you know that I got two pogs riding my shit. We are back. George Press stories. Um, Yo. Everybody that's not working right now, fuck, man. The struggle's real, but stick together, man. Don't be out there robbing fucking people like in a week or two. That's Do something, eh? You know what I mean? Like, you know, it it sucks for anybody that's not working. But, like, how many strippers or dancers have reached out to you? Because, like, so many girls have reached out to me and they're like, hey, fool. I just want to say I miss your music. I miss you. I like the way we run the club. And, like, I kind of fucking get a wee-wee's, dog. Like, damn, man. That's a wee-wee's. A wee-wee. Yeah, like, fuck, homie. For me, they call me, like, can you just yell at me right now? Like, I, I miss the <laughs> yeah. way you just check me all the time. Like, we're not at work, none of that shit. You know what checked me out more, though? Like, I noticed how many girls that don't have a job started only fans dog it's nuts dog they're everywhere yeah. now, bro like what's only fans that's when these bitches like snapchat premium it's kind of like snapchat yeah, premium exactly where, like, what okay, is. what is you it? What, explain what it is what, explain how much you pay and what happens some girl almost got me i'm like what's this only fan she's like well you have to put your card in i go you lost me there bitch i don't got a card yeah, you gotta put your, credit, you gotta card put your in? credit card in there and they charge a monthly fee and just off that, you still get to see these bitches' news, but you still got to tip them and all that shit like that. Oh. So I think they do like a live one-on-one chat. But you know what tripped me out today? What I seen, fool? These fucking chicks are like, fuck that. Because I think they get a percentage, the OnlyFans. So they're like, I'm getting this shit by myself. I see some chick on her live stripping and then letting fools join. And they're throwing like money at the camera, dog. Yeah. I don't know how she's getting the bread, but like I seen one fool, he had bottles, champagne glasses, like on his. You know how they split the screen? Yeah. On his screen, he's chilling there with champagne, and then the other screen, this bitch is stripping on the pole at her pad. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> I don't know how it works. Maybe he gives him money before, and then she does it. But they're women are very creative, dog, and you're seeing the creativeness come I out. I mean, of hey, it is what it is because like I've had. Fools and some dancers hit me up. They're like, look, fool, if the homies want to hit, it's the fucking cables do, the shits do. And, like, a lot of dancers are private contractors, so they really can't file for taxes. You know what sucks, fool, <laughs> is in this stimulus package, if you owe child support, you ain't getting it. You ain't getting it. That so, 1200 Yeah, so like that 1200 they told me like, I don't owe, but I owe back pay from when I was in prison. I pay yeah. child support, but like I owe back pay from being in prison. And why doesn't that 1200 go into my child support? Then let my kid get it. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, true. And that. what the fuck is 1200 bucks going to do, dog? That ain't going to do shit. But fuck it. Some people want to be sheep. Some fucking people are happy with it. Nah, well, man. I'm going to bring it up, too. You know, um, obviously, illegals do most of those jobs. 
Yeah. They got laid off. Yeah, they're not no social. They ain't getting shit either. Yeah, no. Trump's not And they either. pay taxes. A they dollar. drop the money. Day, homie, illegals. You're sorry. right. No, 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 you're right. You're, you're completely right. right. No, shit. no, and, and that's what I'm saying. Like, like it goes down to everybody. They're hitting everybody. If you, if you ain't right, you ain't right. And I like their answer because they're like, you know who they should hit up? The guy that contracted them illegally. Yeah. I heard that shit and I was like, touche. Oh, that's that's, that's a good ass fucking smart. <laughs> so oh, they got, so you're going to so hit them uh, up? He's talking about himself. I know. Right. Hey, nah. but you know what's crazy is the strippers that eat it, they started a GoFundMe, dog. Yeah. Like, and I, I clicked on the link just for shits and giggles, and there's only 67 bucks in there <laughs> <laughs> so far. The wait, wait, wait up, wait up, wait up. I got to hear this. The chicks right. in my work that started a GoFundMe. <laughs> <laughs> That's no, cool. what up? You said there was a GoFundMe. What did there has to be a description? What did they put on there? Like, what was their reason? They, they, they put kids. it there. No, they not even that. They were like, we we dance at this club. Our club's closed down right now. We're not making money, and mm-hmm. you know, if we could appreciate it if you help us out, and I guess they're dividing it between. Like, do they have take, like da- do they dance on that motherfucker? No, no, it's just show a videos or something. No, just like just hell, hell nah. Mar- is Lamar show some videos. Yeah. How is forty bitches gonna split sixty seven <laughs> bucks? <laughs> <dog>? <laughs> I'm, horrible, I'm surprised they got 67 shoot. bucks for no reason. Oh, yeah. I click for shits and giggles. There's a link in the bio. And I click and go, man, how much these bitches make? <laughs> and and he's like, what about the DJ? <laughs> yeah, I clicked on it, dog, and it says 67 out of $3,000. So I was like, wow. Wow. They're trying to get three Gs out of all of them? Trying to get three Gs out of all of them. Why, do they all live in the same apartment complex? Uh, they probably live in the same hotel. Yeah. That's how it is. Is that is that usual? Or do they like, live at hotels? Yeah. Uh, the, the ones that yeah. work in alcohol clubs. Well, yeah. see, look, like. So a lot of strippers don't dance where they uh, live. So a stripper will drive from San Diego, L.A., yeah. Riverside, San Bernardino to Orange County. It, and, is, listen, it, it, and stay at a hotel by the club. And then afterwards, if they can pull that customer and make more feria, they take them to the telly. But my question was, do they go out of town so they don't run into no one in town? Like, let's say... Yeah. That's why? Yeah, so you oh, leaving yeah. town so you don't run into uncle? I know one that comes from San Diego, and she used to pay for a room for the weekend. Yeah. And then I, I ended up being like a little side dick for her. And like, <laughs> so like a, a little side dick? A little side, side dick? Side Only for like Friday and Saturday. A fat side dick? Mean. But like she'll fucking, like instead of paying like two bills at a hotel room, she'll be like, look, dog, I'll get a hundred bucks of Coke. I'll get an eighth. And I'll just crash your pad, we kick it, drink, all that shit. I'm like, cool. Yeah. That's it. Hey, dog, like uh, a lot of these girls... Don't want to be recognized because at my club, it happens all the fuck. A lot of girls at my club are local. And I remember one time this one chick was like, I can't fucking believe it. That's my PE teacher. Hey, for I was DJing there and my woodshop teacher was in there, dog. And I even asked the bartender, I'm like, hey, did he use a credit card? She's like, yeah. I'm like, let me see the last name. I fucking look at the card. He said, woodshop teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Williams, like, come on, fucker. Fucking was like, wow. And I'm not going to burn this fool. You know what I mean? Everybody goes to clubs. So, did you fucking so, play short songs because he gave you a D? Nah, 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 <laughs> no, no. So you brought that up. That. No, I didn't bring it up. Look, well, check this out. The bar. T- okay. Me, the bartender, and the manager all went to the same junior high school. And the bartender was like, hey, fool, look who's here. And I was like, what? And then she fucking. She fucking showed me a pic. She called her sister and told her sister, take a picture of the fucking yearbook and take a picture <laughs> of the wood shop teacher. Because he's been there for like 25 years. Are so we she, still there at school? Yeah. No, he's not there no more. Oh, but but he was there for all of us. And then I was like, what the fuck? And then we, we told the manager and he was like, oh, shit. I'm going to watch this fool do a lap dance. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, oh, yeah. You know, no, man. well, the Dude. reason I asked that was because mostly... Have you ever been up there where you're like, hey, <coughs> up next is so-and-so, bro, fucking Cadillac, whatever the fuck her name is. You call her up and she's like, hey, my dad's out there. My uncle's out there. No, but one I don't want to go out there. Like, have you ever had that where you're like, holy okay, shit, yes, she yes, pussies I, out? I've had uncle out there. I've had fucking my ex-boyfriends out there. Ooh. But the crazy late, not lately, but like about a year ago, this one chick was like, hey, you're George Ferrand? And I was like, yeah. She's like, you know my dad. I was like, what? Oh, a stripper? Yeah. And then she was like, what? And then I was like, who's your mom? And she told me, I was like, wow, I know your mom better than I know your mom. <laughs> and it was a trip. Well, the bigger part was, and she was like, yeah, I went to this high school. And I was like, you went to high school with my son? 
Oh. Oh. That shit fucked mm. me up. And then you know I had to call my son. He He's was like, like, I hate it. He was like, that, was that bitch was so fucking ugly and weird in high school. She's bad now. And I go, see, a lot of these strippers, homie, they're hyenas that weren't that pretty in high school. No. Some of like 50% of them, dog. And now they've come to themselves. They, they've they blossomed into the woman they want to be, and they want to explore their sexuality. Some bitch told them how to put makeup on, do their exactly. hair, their eyebrows, all that shit. So now they look fine, dog. Okay, look. This is a stripper her first year. <laughs> this is when she gets game or second year. We look about. the same. It has to be Xavier. Yeah. Hey, but hey, the craziest time I've, because in the strip club, you run into a lot of people, dog, a lot of weirdos and everything like that. And it was like my first couple of years, and I'm a big time, like USC Wild Bunch, dog. I'm a USC fan till I die, homie. And I'm sitting at the, the best, who's ass the out best of USC here. running back ever. Uh, the best USC. OJ or Reggie Ricky Bush? Williams. Jay. Reggie Bush. I, I'll say, I gotta say OJ, dog. Uh, OJ, dog. He's a power oh, back, dog. the juice. You forgot about Marcus, too, though. He went there. But yeah, but Marcus fucked OJ's lady. Ugh. Who? But, dog, so check it out, dog. I, this is, at this time, this fool already went pro. So, like, uh, his name was Matt Leinart. He was a quarterback. I know he went to Modern Day. Yeah, he was a quarterback for USC. He played on Modern Day, dog. And at that time, like, it was him, Reggie Bush, Lendell White, like, they're, they had studs they on that team, dog. Like, he went to your club? Yeah, yeah, dog. They had studs. They had the defense. They had studs. So they went undefeated on Took pictures yeah. with those fools. So, like, this old man used to come all the time, dog, and I never noticed him until when they fucking won that first BCS championship. And he's back there with his son and his Matt Leinar's dad. So, when he finally came to the club, when he turned pro, he fucking, like, he used to come in this Bucket dog, like not even a bucket, like an old Toyota, shit like that. When the son turned pro, he's rolling the S five hundred, coming yeah. in, dog, suited out and everything. And I was at the front door, so when you at the front door, you just work at the door. You don't go to the main floor, which is upstairs. It's two different floors. So I was tripping, like, yo, man, like that's fucking Matt Liner, his dad, yo, like that's crazy. He comes here, and one stripper was like, you know, I know something that's really crazy. I'm like, what? She goes, you know how he wears all those suits and shit, right? I'm like, yeah. She goes, he wears lingerie underneath Shut his Shut your ass. Leonard's dad was Leonard's wearing lingerie. dad. So it was Matt lingerie art? <laughs> dog, get the fuck out of here. Because nah, homeboy would wear sick ass thousand dollar suits, dog, and wear women's lingerie under this shit. And then the chick would be like, he likes to get pegged by the girls. Damn. He'd pay these girls to get pegged by him, dog. Hey, at the Econo Lodge Hotel, dog. Wow. Hey. I didn't want to believe it. And then she started showing me text messages. I was like, well, get the fuck hey. out of here. This fool son's going doing pro touchdowns in the NFL, dog. It's, it, men have fetishes. It's, it's Look, homie, I'm not with it. And I'm against it. But it does like that's what the four likes. Yo, so we all know this one. What did you think about when you saw Oscar De La Hoya in those pictures? That wasn't him, dog. Uh, that was not Oscar De La Hoya. Dog. That was Tommy's body. You see <laughs> and, if, and if it was him, it was like some Halloween fucking around with the homies type shit. No, but I wouldn't dress worse. all the way in. You don't fuck around with the homies like no, that we either, dress, though. We dress as NWA, dog. They try to get him. <laughs> That's we dress they try to get him. <laughs> what did you dress as? Apollonia? Right? Saturday 6th? Fuck, oh, dog. I fucking when you were little, no, no, not even when I was little. But I so dressed up Halloween. I was a high enough for Halloween. What a what a what a what a what a high enough for Halloween. You were a high here? enough for Halloween. Hold on, yeah. What here? So well, blonde, I was white, like eight broad. Beard, no beard. For Halloween one year, and I dressed as a broad. He's like, man. Dog. Yeah. Dog, he's like when I Hell was. Hell yeah, fool! Like it was uh, like I wasn't gonna do it, and I was like, ain't nothing like, else. They ain't nothing else to dress us up as. All right, enough. You get it. So I dressed up as a hyena <laughs> and it. fool. Mac of the motherfucking month. Hey, Told dog. Way. He was like, when I was little, hey, fool, my sister I took pooed. a shower, but she left her clothes in there when I, when she got out, and I put them on. <laughs> I wore her underwears and her yeah, bra. Whose clothes did you wear? <laughs> I just wore a big ass dress and some shit. Like, dressed like an old lady. Hey, like, did kinda. you wear men underwear or women underwear? He I wore all my all underwear. He went all but, out. hey, hey, I'm saying, I pulled them in. I know like, you oh. did it, dog. Because well, I had mouth in a dog, motherfucker sure. back dog, in the day. With those teeth? You have a mouth dog, with those hey, teeth? Uh, hey, fool, my dad used to always say, Verro mata carita. Like, mouth uh, kills face. Dog, you know I'm saying so. If you got a motherfucking mouth, you could talk and dog, you could, you're, you're ugly, cool. Fool. You're telling me you're a fool. But you're lady. ugly. You had a game, dog. Fool, I used to pull more bitches than the fucking pretty boys. 
Eddie used to pluck his eyebrows in high school, and I used to put more bitches than that. Oh, I used to pluck bitches in high school, and my eyebrows, dog. <laughs> hey, I, had, I had notches in the motherfucker. I back got in more the day. girls in junior high than you Poor. got from high school. Well, I'm like a now, fucking uh, a celebrity. How can you be a Mac when there's only eight girls in your class, dog? Because all eight, all the eight, all eight, all eight. Now, I seen a picture of you with Queen Latifah. <laughs> 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 hey, that was her year, but bitch had box braids. Hey, yeah, but I'm telling you, even back then, I'm saying you seen it yourself, like you just said. I'm saying you seen it. I seen one. Fool, I seen I you with two girls, that hey, black fool, girl and then Mac, the wife. Man. So hey, what if? So what if one of these fine ass hannas was like, hey man, Tommy Bad Boy, wear, wear my wear my Thea's dress because you're kind of husky and you won't fit in mine. And <laughs> I'll let you bone me and eat me out, but I gotta fucking <laughs> go to the back door. Would you what let you mean? Tell him, Eddie. Dog, would you let some fucking hyena peg you? Hell nah. Come on. So that's where they wear some up. shit and bone your you, right? Your teeth look like you let hyena nah. peg you. That's a Xavier. Hey, remember on uh, Starship Troopers when they beat him with the whip and they put the thing in his mouth? Yeah. Because bite down, son. It'll help a lot better. <laughs> yeah, you you watch do, shit dog. like that, dog. Starship that's what, Troopers, that's what lets me know. When my mom gets here, tell her how to sleep because my back was hurting a lot. See, your back. Hey. I really like your room, and I want to come back. See, si, vato? Hey, homie, you can't be so long to yourself in front of my little carnal like that. Hey, homie, it's cool. No, it's not cool. That's not Hector, eh? Hector's 14. That's going to be Hector if he keeps messing with those drugs. Don't tell him nothing! <laughs> hey, Carlos, don't tell him nada! <laughs> Saavedra, shut up! Do <laughs> you think you can get rid of these, I see? Like a hot tortilla, hot <laughs> butter on a hot tortilla. 300 whack whack. <laughs> Crucito, I remember you, eh? At least you gave me some paintings unlike this, vato. You're a tough mama to find. At least you gave me some paintings. This vato still hasn't given me dick. What about that 50% you've been taking out the homies' checks every week? Hey, papi, you told me you were broke. You had no money. Go change a tire, güero. <laughs> we're talking some serious business. Yeah, he got the muscle. The muscle to jack himself off. I'm just hanging in there for my old lady my kids. <laughs> <laughs> Yo! We back. Uh, special episode, guys. Today's my birthday. I mean, uh, I would rather spend it with my kids than you guys. <laughs> so, yeah, happy so. birthday. But I'm not trying to get those fools the, the Rona or nothing. Isn't that some weird shit? Like, I'm not even, I mean, I'm kicking it with my kids, but I'm not. Like, you can't do shit right I kicked now. it with you more than your kids, dog. Yeah. Actually, your kids been here. They still they, no, no, they, they still show up. They, yeah, they show up, but I'm like scared. Like, hey, man. You don't even let them in. You're, no, don't even park. Man. Six feet. Hey, hey, what about it? Blah, blah, blah. They're signaling the car. He's all, hey. He's all, damn it. They took the the fucking. Check the trunk, Raleigh. He's all, hey, you should be riding me, not fucking with me, Vato Loco. Check the trunk. <laughs> Don't call me Carnal. I ain't your brother, motherfucker. He's all, it's people like you that are killing all our children. <laughs> Shit, they took the lab and Clavo's money. That loan charge is going to shit. What are we going to do now? Like I said, I'd rather be kicking it with my kids. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Barry's hands hurt. <laughs> so you State know your ball. <laughs> you guys are stuck in blood in, blood out. Huh? What about stand and deliver, dog? I don't know that one, dog. Fucking with your hands like this, fucking. He's like, what's nine I times seven? Thirty-four. He's like, hey, I cut your finger off and you can't do your tentacles. <laughs> Orale oh, Kimosabi. That was a good movie, dog. Like, I watched Stand and Deliver on this little quarantine shit. And I noticed Stand and Deliver is like the original movie about a teacher coming into the hood and teaching. As far as like the premise, the setup, substitute, substitute, stole it, 
Freedom Riders stole it, and the other one with fucking when Jim seven. Belushi, the principal dog. Yeah. Remember, remember when they hang that for the black food was like, "How's it hanging, man?" Yeah. <laughs> But what's the one where the chick that looks like our... Oh, Dangerous Andy. Minds. Yeah, Dangerous Minds. Uh, dangerous Tell Minds, Tell me dog. why are we so blind to see when the world... So you did hey. mention, like, Freedom Riders. Was yeah. there a fucking white chick in your high school that was, like, trying to be that girl? No, you, there do you was remember no a teacher gr- like that. There wasn't a teacher like that? that no, was, but it was hell different. no. They didn't, nah. give, dog, they didn't give a fuck, yeah. dog. Because when I went to continuation school, there was not one person that took me to the office and be like, look, you need to do this, this, and that to get back to regular school. They're making money off you being there. Yeah, hey, homie, I went to a fucking crazy-ass continuation school, and it's called Richland. And I remember we had a teacher there named Miss Sundial. And you can ask anybody that went to Richland in 1993 to 95. It was a health teacher, and she would fucking come to class, dog. No underwear. No. Uh, was she fine? Basis. Hell no. Basic instinct, uh, huh? No, she, she had skin of a sanadito and a fucking reptile. Uh, uh. Hey, homie. But she was sexy. Because she uh. fucking always had alcohol in her drink. This is a continuation school, dog, and she would just be like, like, she wouldn't even teach a class, fool. She would just, like, ask questions and shit. She's like, who wants to fuck? No, no. She'd be like, huh, George, do you have any kids? And I was like, no. She's like, oh, you look like the kind of kid that fucks other kids. Damn. She's like, welcome to hell. <laughs> what she, the fuck? Yeah, hey, homie. And then, hey, dog, she would teach the class and get so fucking, she would get hammered, dog. And then she would just fucking open her legs, and you would fucking... It was weird, homie, because back then, I didn't know that old ladies would go and get tanned. And, like, she was that chick. She had blonde hair. She would go get her tanning salon. And then, like, it was weird, because she'd be all brown. And then down there, it just... It looked... Be white. It looked like a pink bed sheets that were just, like, folded. <laughs> How old was she? <laughs> She was probably like 40. Oh, she was a little older? We were like 16, dog. 17. That's fine. Yeah. That's cougar no, shit. That's fine. She was fine. A 40 with fucking, if, if skin was teeth, she had Tommy's teeth and skin, <laughs> dog. Fuck. Like that she, bitch been sitting in the sun forever. No, like when you drink a lot, it eats you up. You, you could smell it on her, dog. Yeah. Like and, and and like I sit back and think I know she was boning other teachers because other teachers would come and she'd be like, "All right, guys, I'm gonna go do something in the back." And I would be like, "What the fuck?" And she was would, like, "I'm going to the bathroom with the teacher. Don't yeah, come like, in here. Let you fools do whatever you want for that fucking yeah. thirty minutes." Nah, like seven minutes. She probably go get boned real quick, and that fool was like, walk "Probably smell vodka." On but her, so, so you know how like all these. N- I've heard. I know you've seen on the news how these new kids are getting like boned down and they get caught up. This girl, this teacher, be fucking game banging six dudes no, and all our this teachers shit. Were fucking other teachers, uh, that, dog. Oh, so that's what I'm saying. This is nah, new none shit. None of our teachers, hey homie, none of our teachers fucked because they were all old bitches. We never got those young ass teachers. We never got the 23. So this is new shit. This is new because you see, yeah. I see these sometimes and I'm like, holy fuck, dude, that bitch is fine. Like I would have done it too. So like, this is new shit. Like all these new kids fucking the teachers. I mean. It's not happening where I went to school at. This shit doesn't right. happen in Orange County. What about you, Sadik? You you know bone those fucking teachers? Well, I didn't bone no teachers, dog. But there was a rumor that a teacher did bone a student. I remember her. She was a fine white girl, probably like mid twenties, dog. And she boned like we knew it was for reals because this was like she fine. She was fine, but this fool was like ult- <laughs> ultimate cholo. <laughs> And he was boning all the fine bitches. Yeah, he and, was. And he looked grown for his age. He'd like, probably held back for fake birds. Yeah, shit. dog. But this fool coming fresh to death every day, dog. And I knew we, we knew she was boning him because, like, he would just get up, ah, fuck this stupid ass lecture, eh? And leave the class. Yeah. And she wouldn't do nothing about it, dog. Damn. But there was, she was never caught. But the rumor was, homeboy was taxing her, dog. What about you, Tommy? When you were little, did you want any teachers? No, I, w- hey, when I was little, I used to be a maniac. And I remember like, my fucking fifth grade teacher, me and my cousin got in trouble after, and we had to stay after class. And then we were all asking her nasty shit. But I'm like, 
What? Take what? Come on. What? Nasty Just shit. Just fucking to try to show us how to do different shit. Like, oh, we don't know how to do this. Which if is we what? Why you gotta this? act like a lie, fool? No, well, we were just trying to have her show us her fucking titties or some shit, and it didn't work, and we ended up getting in fucking trouble, me and my cousin, <laughs> because <laughs> we're too much and they're fools? like, hey, you guys can't be asking these fucking questions. You guys hey, are little kids. I remember being in junior high and getting caught finger banging a chick and i just remember like the teacher was a complete fucking douche you could tell like she wore a fucking wrinkle top fucking fucked up slacks she had like a camel toe by her leg like this bitch was and i remember her going uh do you think it's respectful violating these girls with their fingers and i remember one of the chick goes my dad said i can't have sex so I let him put his finger in me. And I was just like, hey, man, like, I didn't ask her. She asked me. Yeah. And then this chick called her mom and my mom and told him, hey, George is putting his finger in chicks. And they told the other chick, your daughter is asking this student to put his finger in her. And then my fucking mom going, hey, he was working on his timetables. <laughs> two plus two. You see, fucking sudden and deliver nine times seven. Homie, that was like my go to thing. Like, finger bang I, champ, huh? Yeah, I was a finger bang champ, but like, I remember like, girls were like, hey, stop teasing me. And I would go harder, but not knowing that they want a dick. I just didn't know what to give it. <laughs> yeah, you just <laughs> keep you going with the finger. Like, man, these chicks wanted to bone me, and I was like, not doing it. It was weird. You're like, that's why she wanted Hell me to yeah. walk her home. Yeah. Sup, Eddie? Any rants? No rants today. Fuck Tommy. That's the rant. Yeah. Damn. What? And uh, for the fucking rant of this motherfucking week. If you guys are locked up in your fucking house. (laughs) (laughs) We're not doing that shit. Yo, uh, this is George Press Stories, episode 156. We thank you guys. It was my birthday. We've been fucking drinking since 1 o'clock. Special shout out to Will, three times Will, brought me a birthday cake. Thank you so much, Will, he always might, coming through. He might change his name by tomorrow, though. Yeah, also, Magic, for bringing me that little sexy sack. Oh. Uh, three plates, you didn't bring no weed, but you brought the record, the chronic. <laughs> Can I show him what they brought, dog? This is my pachanga, so I have a good time. Oh, this fool's you brought job. chronic. This let, fool's, let him know. Let him know this fool's job is to bring weed, and George's like, damn, fool. You brought me chronic? He's like, yeah, I brought you some chronic. <laughs> you brought this, dog. You know what I'm that saying? That shit is hard, though. That's the hardest motherfucking Ooh, record. Yeah, and it has the director's cut. It comes with a DVD inside. No, it don't. Yeah, it fool. Does. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's a, I got it from no, Dr. I, Dre. I, I don't feel like no DVD in here. Fool, dog. Dr. Dre was going to sign it, but I, I told him don't fuck early. around with you the plastic. Got it, you got it from, like, Dr. Ray. Yeah, you got it from the doctor that cured your coronavirus. <laughs> Yo, this is George Press Stories, episode 156. Thank you guys so much. 157 drops Thursday morning. Hey, I haven't heard nothing from the Continental Room April 4th, so it's on until you hear it's not on. I don't know what else is coming up. If you want to sponsor the podcast because motherfuckers need to pay rent, hit us up in the DM. We got a GoFundMe, a Venmo. New project coming up, and let us know if you really want a patron. With that being said, this is George Perez Stories, episode 156. Take a shower, brown power. Late.